I've loved fantasy since I was a small child. I used to bring my books with me to class and tuck them into my textbooks, and then I'd hold up the textbooks so no one could see what I was actually reading. That's probably why I know more about mythical beasts than U.S. history. If there had been a dragon in the Civil War, I might have cared. At one point, I had an imaginary friend who was a dragon. He was black and silver, and he lived on my roof. I don't remember his name. I love Game of Thrones. In honor of the season premiere, I decided to make baby dragons. My husband and I have read A Song of Ice and Fire on road trips over the years. We've had parallel adventures while traveling cross-country. I used three different saws with varying length guide bars, 22 inches, 12, and finally an 8 inch. Lately I do most of my work with the 12 inch. The 8-inch carving bar allows me to get some really fine details and saves me from having to rely too much on power tools. It also saves a lot of time. Check out my new power gouge. I'm still getting used to it. It's used for hollowing out wood and creating some amazing textures. I still do love geeking out with the Dremel. I started this project a while ago, and then I put it off and came back to it. Art doesn't always work in a straight line. Actually, it hardly ever does for me. The most important thing is to keep up the momentum. Sometimes if I encounter a problem I can't immediately solve or start to lose enthusiasm, I go work on something else for a bit and come back. It's gotten me thinking about George R.R. R. Martin and the criticism he's been under for taking his time finishing A Song of Ice and Fire before the TV series Game of Thrones finishes. You shouldn't rush art. Good things take time. We're all here for you, George. If you've ever wanted a baby dragon, click this little guy to subscribe.